Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Newman reporters or how to generate the reports within Newman or when you are executing the Postman collection. If you want to see comprehensive report, what all reporting options are available within Newman. So on the same link, basically the Newman documentation on the GitHub, you will get the reporters section there and how you can basically configure reporters when you are running the collection from the Newman. So the option is really simple if you want to configure the default reporters that are present, right? For example, if you have the command, you simply have to append the option hyphen R and the name of the report that you want to generate. Okay. By default, always CLI report gets generated, right? So we have already seen that when we executed, say, for example, this particular uh, command. Okay. Um, so this one, right? So when we have, you know, offline execution, when we have the collection.json exported and the environment exported if i simply say hyphen r and then specify the name of the report that i want to generate that's how easy it is or double hyphen reporters so it will be same thing right whether you say hyphen r it's a short form of reporters so you can use either i prefer using hyphen r okay and then name of the report so what are the default reports that are available at the moment in newman so available reports are available reporters is a cli json j unit progress and emoji train okay so let's quickly see some of these reports okay and understand what will be the report format that will be generated right so as you know j json uh, report will be you know a json dot json file and junit will generate a xml file okay so let's understand the cli progress and emoji train okay so what will cli so cli is by default so if i simply even if i don't say hyphen r um, or if i say hyphen r and then just say cli okay so if i run this particular collection hyphen r and then followed by cli you will see it is generating the same sort of report that by default we have seen previously right so the tabular format and all the details are available okay now the other option is the progress right so the other option was progress and the emoji train what exactly is emoji train so it's just a simple uh, nothing will be logged on the console so if i simply say okay just emoji train in that particular case okay i'll paste it emoji train and then run it you will see that nothing will be logged it will just generate couple of emojis okay and then the execution will finish right so depending on the calls so now if i go ahead and refresh this you will see the execution has happened right so i have executed twice so basically 174 and 175 issues should be visible here as well so you'll see 174 and 175 are also available okay so this is what emoji train um is all about now the other one is the progress right so other option was the progress okay so if i move further here and see the other option in the documentation here it's the progress let's see what progress is going to do so in the command prompt i'll simply say okay log the progress report hyphen r and then space progress so let's see what happens in this particular so you'll see in this case it is basically showing the overall progress as well okay so it is showing overall progress in this particular case when the progress execution happens okay so this is the progress report all right it will be more clear if i clear everything and then run you will see this is how the progress report will look and the execution will finally stop okay now you can have combination of reports as well right so the other reports are the json and j unit so i can have the combination of the report for example hyphen r and then first report which is cli i want to have then comma separated json comma separated j unit make sure that you don't have spaces after the report and comma okay so this is this is wrong the this particular one and it all, always has to have no spaces after this after the report e each report has to be comma separated without any spaces okay so say for example i want to generate the report i want to generate cli as well as json json and okay so i can give all the report comma separated after hyphen r okay and then all of these reports will get generated so where will json and j unit get generated i'll explain you in a moment so i'll enter this and then you will see the cli report will be there so you'll see that on the command line interface it has started logging in the details you'll see this is the cli report 
and where exactly are the JSON and J unit reports, right? So they will be available wherever you are firing this particular command. So basically I'm at the moment a C users pavilion, right? Uh, it should be somewhere in the Newman folder in the same location, right? So if I go here and search for that, so you'll see I'm in C users pavilion. There is a Newman folder and within that, these are two reports right so these are the two reports one is the xml document which is the j unit report okay and the other one is the json file all right so these are two reports that got generated for both of them. okay so if i just open this particular report j unit report say i open it in the edge you will see the details of the report the xml report is available okay then the other one you will have the JSON so you can basically use this particular report or the format and have a uh, say for example you have a, a JSON reader or you want to display the data in a particular format you can have these files and display the report data accordingly okay now this is pretty raw format all right so this is not of much use as such for the end user or if you have to send it for the business uh, people to the business people so we'll see some other better options for report generation right this is the available default reporters that are there okay now if you go down a little bit you will see different options for the reporter as well so for example reporter cli and then uh, json um, a reporter there are different options that you can basically pass to silent or reporter cli silent would silence the cli reporter right so there are some configuration uh, more configuration options that you can basically play around with these reporters right now these are the default reporters you won't be using those two these too much except this cli or the progress right so for example you don't want to log everything on the cli you'll just say okay progress or emoji train okay now what next so next is basically if say for example i want to store or i want to store the json report or the report that i'm generating in a particular folder right so you can say okay reporter json export right this is the cli option and i can specify the path where exactly i want to save my report so by default you'll see that it is saving here okay now say for example i want to save it as a it at a different location okay so what i'll do is i'll use a option there okay in the command here and let's say I just want to you know have a report which is JSON report okay but I want to store it at a particular location right so then I'll say hyphen double hyphen reporter JSON hyphen export then I'll simply provide the path okay so uh, on in the path what you have to do is so hyphen R is JSON so JSON report and then reporter JSON export which location I want to generate this particular report on right so I am at this C users pavilion I can basically specify any drive that I want to generate this report on but I'll click to C okay I'll say C users and then on the desktop okay so let me see users user profile and then on the desktop I want to create a new folder so I'll say okay Newman Newman hyphen folder all right and sorry got executed so I think there will be some error let uh, by mistake I hit enter there is a so it created this Newman folder right so it created a file right instead of the folder so let me delete it all right then we'll simply go back here all right so here we'll say okay on the desktop just create new folder and within this folder create a report okay so i'll say report.json all right now i'll hit enter so now the location or the file location will be on the desktop a folder will be, will be created newman folder with the name newman fo folder within there report.json file will okay so if i go there here you'll see newman folder is there and report.json has been created okay so this is how you are going to generate a report in a particular location okay and this is about the default reports that are supported right available reporters that are available in newman okay now these won't be much useful but i have explained you just in case you want to use these for your own purpose debugging or customizing the report okay you can generate xml similar way and, and then the more important for the business perspective and for test reporting perspective will be the html reporter which i'll cover in the next video okay so this that is all for this particular video on the reporter options in newman i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching